many times must I tell you? Go away! forgetting your old tricks or do you think it's my fault that it flew away tell you promised to help me with this bird costume i thought you're going to cut out the wings i'm doing it then there must be something wrong with my eyes to me it looks like you're just sitting there and staring out of the window i'm taking a break anyway i think we should wait until frankie gets here with his bird book you don't need frankie's bird book Ta-da! what do you think <laughs> Do I look like a bird? <laughs> no, it looks like you with a piece of cardboard on your face. Why do birds need beaks anyway? I bet you can't make a better beak. Look at Dad. It looks like he has his own bird problems. Go away, Hamba. We don't want you here. Go and find some other roof to do your business on. Not this one. None of the ledges on this building either. They are not for you. Go, Hamba. Hi, Mr. Nkise. Uh, uh, are you trying to clean up the air with that broom? Frankie, I don't know what to do with these pigeons anymore. They make such a mess and the tenants are complaining. There seem to be more every day. Well, I don't think waving a broom at them is doing much good. It's better than nothing. It gives them something to think about. I'm not so sure. <laughs> Look at your broom. I thought I told you to go away! <laughs> What am I going to do? Well, this book might have some hints, you know. It's all about birds, and uh, my uncle gave it to me for Christmas. And Jay said that I should bring it to help them make a bird costume. It's just like I was saying, Ayanda. Mm -hmm. It depends on what type of bird you want to be. It doesn't have to be fancy. It's just for a school play, as long as the audience can see that I'm a bird. Yeah, but what kind of bird? I don't know. Any type. Why don't you be a beak and some wings. Oh no, we have to decide things about it. What sort of thing? Like, where does it feed? Does it feed in the dark? Does it fish in the sea? Does it pull up a tree box? Can it swallow a bee? Does it delicately sit at the nectar of flowers? Does it tear at the meat on a carcass for hours? Well, that stuff doesn't matter. Oh yes it does. You see, the way the bird lives and what it eats makes one sort of bird different from other sorts. Yes, like ducks have big flat feet so they don't sink into the mud. Mm -hmm. So that they can swim better? Mm -hmm. uh, maybe it's because of both those things. And parrots have special claws so they can climb a tree. You are making me so confused. But you just said that I had to be a bird that lives in a city, that's all. Ah, that's a good starting point. Hey, maybe we should go and look at what birds are in the city. I think we should just go and talk to Spider. She knows everything there is to know about the city. I'm sure it's all here in my book. We, we don't have to go anywhere. Uh, you see, my uncle gave it to uh, me for Christmas, you know? Sure, Frankie, you told us before. I thought I told you all to go away. There are much nicer buildings across the street to sit on. I promise. It's no good talking to them, Baba. If you have got any better ideas, please tell me. I thought perhaps I could put down some poison. Don't do that, Baba. What if something else eats that poison? Or if someone else eats something that's eaten the poison, that could be dangerous. Maybe we should see if there are any hints in my book. Come on, guys. I thought we were all going to see Spider. 
Why don't you go? Frank and I will stay here and help Baba with his bird problem. Would you do that? That would be great. Oh, and what about my bird problem? All right, Spider and I will sort this one out on our own. Here they are, pigeons. Well, here's something to start with. Their favorite food is seed or grain. Oh. 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 idiot! Oh. Can't you see where you're going? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Agrippa. Here, let me help you. You leave those alone. Oh, what's that? It's got nothing to do with you. Now, Scoot. It looks as though you need some help with those heavy bags, Mr. Agrippa. I'm not going to let you help me. Hmm. There are some things in this life that children just cannot do. Quite a lot of things, actually. Thank goodness. Now, you go and play your silly game somewhere else. <laughs> Frankie? Frankie? What are you doing? In my book it says that farmers sometimes use scarecrows to keep birds away. So I'm being a scarecrow. Frankie, a scarecrow is not going to work with these birds. If they are not scared of me and my broom, then they are certainly not going to be scared of you standing like a statue. <coughs> oh, no, man. Hmm. We're going to have to think of something else then. Well, there's an advert in the Newtown News. I buy pigeons and then a number to phone. He's prepared to pay money for these things? That's right. So maybe you should work out some way of catching them. It might be the answer to the problem. Frankie, hmm? does it say anything in the book about ways of catching the birds? Ah, no, man. Look what's happened now. My uncle gave me this book for Christmas. <laughs> I'm going to kill these pigeons. Frankie. I don't think that is really the solution we're looking for. Spider! Hi, Ayanda, I'm over here. Oh. Hi, Bo. Uh, Spider, hmm? tell me what you know about birds in the city. Birds in the city? Yes. Why are you asking me? Just go and look. There are those brown kind and then those black ones with the yellow legs that make all the noise. And then the pigeons. A spider. Oh. I have to oh, I have to make this costume for the school play. Help me. I don't know where to start. I'll tell you what. Let me finish with this job. Uh. And then we'll do the whole thing properly. In the meantime, why don't you look around in all this junk for things you think you might be able to use? There must be lots of stuff. Thank you, Spider. The boys are no help at all. I'm not even sure what I'm looking for. Oh, maybe a pillow filled with feathers? Oh, it looks like someone's calling us. Oh, it's you. Oh, no, guys. I can't talk today. I'm looking for a bird costume. Here's a clue. Birds can be classified according to their habits. For instance, migratory birds. These are birds that fly halfway across the world every year, like swallows. They live in an endless summer. Hmm. Another type of bird. Birds that live on water, like... Ducks? Uh, would you say ducks are city birds? Good question. Birds can also be classified by appearance. Plumage. That means their feathers. Shape of beak, size, shape of wings in flight. The way they look. Make a list of big birds and of little birds. Do it yourself. Oh, oh. Good suggestion. Another way of classifying birds is what? I don't know. Usefulness? Usefulness to whom? No, no, no. Diet. Oh. What they eat. You get seed eaters, fish eaters, insect eaters, fruit eaters, bird eaters. Birds can soar, glide, dive, call, flap, perch, preen. Birds can fly. Of course birds can fly. They're birds. Except penguins. Oh. And ostriches. That's a fact. Spider! Spider, come quickly! Huh? What's wrong with her? I don't know. I found her like this. Spooky? What's wrong with you, my baby? Uh, it could be something she ate. She went out looking for some food. 
such things to find out what it was she ate. It could be anything, you know, Ayanda. Mm. She eats anything. It could be that she drank some dirty water. Mm. This is very clever. Mm. The bird walks into the box because he wants to eat the food. But when it does, the lid is going to close because... Oh, sorry. Dad, it takes a long time to balance the lid like that. It's going to work. I know it is. We're going to catch them and sell them to that person in the advert. <laughs> Mama Bones, she doesn't want to eat or drink. She just lies there. <laughs> I'm sure it's nothing serious. But didn't you see what it was that she ate this morning? Maybe poison. <laughs> the only time I saw her was when she was hanging around Brad Joe. Where was this? There, around the corner. He's waiting for Mr. Agrippa again. <gasps> Let's go. No. Brad Joe, have you seen Spooky this morning? Have you seen her eating anything? Oh, come on. I have more important things in my life than cats and what they eat. You are selling these pets, Brajo? That's right. They are parrots. They don't look like parrots. Hmm. Why don't you believe me? They are a special type. Listen, they make little noises. They look like pigeons. They are nothing like pigeons. These are parrots. I thought parrots speak like us. These ones sometimes do. I can't hear them. They speak very softly. They are a new kind that is known as a Johannesburg gold. You want to buy one? They are great pets. Have you seen Mr. Agrippa sprinkling anything around? Something that might be poison, huh? Whenever you have a problem, you always think that it is Mr. Agrippa. He is not such a bad man. Look at their feet. Frankie said that parrots have big claws so that they can grip nuts and the sides of trees. These ones have tiny little feet. These are a different kind of parrot. How many times must I tell you that Johannesburg gold is a whole new kind that has only just been discovered? They don't speak. I told you sometimes they do. Oh dear, uh, I seem to have dropped something. Hello, lovely ladies. Hello, lovely ladies. <laughs> Take me home. Take me home. <laughs> Wasn't that wonderful? I told you. How can you resist them? How much are they? I'm only selling them for... Uh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five. Hey. There were six before. Where is my other parrot? There have only been five since we got here. You've taken him. How Holy... would I take him? Where would I put him? You let him go to see if we could hold on to the side of a tree or something. Brajo, I ended up didn't take your parrot. Yeah. But we'll look around and see if we can find it. Come on, Ayanda. I'm worried about Spooky. Okay. I wonder how Spooky is feeling right now. Maybe she's feeling a bit better. You think so? Yeah. How are you feeling, Spooky? A bit better. What's wrong? She's not even opening her eyes, Ayanda. Oh, Spider, are you saying... Perhaps she's just in a deep sleep. Mm -mm. She's oh. very cold. Oh, no, what can we do? Isn't there some vet or something that we can take her to? A, a special doctor for animals. Oh, she's getting worse oh. and worse. I'm so sorry, Spider. I really am. Oh. Listen, hmm? her heart is still beating. Do you think so? Look, what is this? Huh? This is what she had for lunch. But Joe's missing parrot. Oh. That's it. That's what's making Spooky so sick. Oh. She ate that horrible parrot and it's making her ill. Oh, <laughs> if we can find out what it was about those parrots that made her so sick, then there'll still be time to save her. Parrot for sale. A parrot is a perfect pet. All your friends will be jealous when you show them this rare bird called the Johannesburg Gold. Not yet in books, only just discovered. Hurry while stocks last. Going cheap. Parrots are not supposed to go cheap. Baby chickens go cheap.
parents are supposed to go poly poly. Oh, these ones are going cheap. Brother, huh? are you buying pigeons? Are you selling pigeons? That's right. We caught some on the roof and and we called the number in the newspaper. The man said we should bring them to you. That man on the phone must be Mr. Agrippa. That's who Joe is working for these days. Really? Why does Mr. Agrippa want pigeons? Oh, Mr. Agrippa is in the bed business now. He loves all kinds of birds. I'm selling these ones for him. But what kind of birds are these? You mean you have never heard of a Johannesburg gold either? <laughs> Johannesburg gold? What's that? They are rare parrots. Mr. Agrippa discovered them. But these can't be parrots. Parrots are supposed to have huge beaks so they can crack nuts. These have tiny beaks. And where do you find nuts to crack here in Joburg? They only have tiny beaks because they only eat tiny things. Mm. And, and, and parrots are supposed to have special feet so that they can climb trees. And how many trees are they around here? The Johannesburg gold has only these tiny feet so that it can sit on tiny things like you find in the cities. Like, um, telephone wires. Mm, I don't know. They look very funny to me. Do you want to sell your pigeons or not? Spider, I wonder what's wrong. Spooky is very sick, Jay. And this is what poisoned her. Why are you looking at me like that? Because these are the feathers of that poor parrot of yours that went missing. Spooky ate it. Now we can hardly hear if her heart is beating. What kind of terrible birds are these? That's what we want to know. Who is it? It's me, Mr. Agrippa. We have a bit of a problem. Problem? How can there possibly be a problem? Those kids, Mr. Agrippa. That cat of theirs ate one of the birds and it is now dying. They know there is something fishy going on. Those blasted little monsters! But how did you let a cat get to one of my precious little babies, hmm? So it comes off your wages. You know what they are like. Always snooping around, asking questions. I do not know what to say to them anymore. Well, I'll have to come down there and sort it all out. They can ask as many questions as they like. There's nothing wrong with my Joburg Golds. But they say one of them has killed their cat. So what? That just makes them all the more valuable. I mean, how many parrots have you heard of that can choke a cat, hmm? Uh, uh, we have to find out what it was about those weird parrots that's making her so sick. Look at this. The color's coming off. These feathers have been painted. Painted? What? Yes. That's why no one's ever heard of them before. I saw Mr. Agrippa coming from the hardware store with a lot of tins. And the tin said, poison. Poison? Come on. That stuff in the pocket from the hardware store I saw you with earlier was paint, wasn't it? What's wrong with that? And now you're trying to buy pigeons. That's right. I love all kinds of birds. These parrots are really pigeons, aren't they? Pigeons with a bit of that paint splashed onto them. Yeah, this Joseph. Can you believe this? And that paint was poisonous. I saw that on the tin. That was the paint that made Spooky sick. Yeah. Yes. Won't you tell us the name of the paint so we can tell the vet what is poisoning Spooky? Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Where's your proof for this wild theory? It rubs off on your hands when you touch the feathers. Show him, Ayanda. Oh, they all do that. In the winter, they all lose their color. I think what we should do is take one of these birds to some proper expert and see what he thinks of it. Who are you? I'm the father of these two. And I was thinking of supplying you with some of my pigeons. But after what I've just heard, mm -mm, I don't think they would be in good hands. Hey, Dad, maybe we should see if someone at the newspapers would be interested. That could be a good idea. Or we could ask the police. I was just trying to put a bit of color back into people's lives. All right, I'll show you what paint I used. Yeah. Yeah. Now that we've got the paint, we've got to get Spooky to the vet quickly. There might be still time for him to pump out her stomach. Or maybe give her something that will cancel poison. Oh! My goodness! This whole place is filled with pigeons! What has been happening here? Oh no, look over there! My box of birds, it came open! But how did that happen? 
I think I can see the reason over there. Huh? How is it spooky? That's wonderful. It's a good thing you didn't eat enough of that paint to kill you. Sorry about the pigeon, spider. You know, Frank and I have a great idea to get rid of these pigeons. Huh? One of the biggest enemies of the pigeons is the falcon. Yes, that's part of the reason why they like it so much in the city. Because oh. there are no falcons here. Phew, I can see why they're so frightened of it. Look at those claws. It uses its claws to catch the smaller birds, like pigeons. It can fly very fast, and it even catches some birds in midair. Maybe you should go to Mr. Agrippa. He could make you a falcon. He turns pigeons into parrots. <laughs> we don't have to. I've already made some. As soon as the pigeon sees something that even looks a bit like a falcon, they will get as far away as they possibly can. Let's show you. Check. Whoa! Look at those pigeons go! I think it's better that the Joburg girls go back to their proper homes, Joseph. Before any snooping bird expert or journalist comes and claims my discovery. They were born free, and they deserve to be free. Don't talk rubbish. Give me the next one. They look better now that they are back to normal. Can you give a falcon to each of the residents to put in their window? But Ayanda wants you to see her bird costume for the school play. <sighs> okay, but I hope it's better than the last one. Of yeah. course it is. I helped her. I wonder if her bird's in my book. Uh, did I tell you that my uncle gave me this book? No, I didn't know that, Frankie. Then you're the only one. He gave it to Frankie for Christmas. Ha! Don't even try to find this bird in your book, Frankie. I promise you. This bird is like no bird that anyone has ever seen before. Ta-da! What, what is that? that? Pay attention, class. What we have here is a perfect city bird because it eats mostly crumbs from the streets and it has developed a sort of suction beak that will suck up all food like a vacuum cleaner. And, and why has it got sunglasses? It's to protect its eyes from all that mirror glass. Also because everyone in the city wears sunglasses. So it's a sort of camouflage. It has padded feet and a padded bottom. Because you need protection if you are going to live on concrete your whole life. Short wings so that it can fly in the narrow spaces between buildings. And its feathers are grey, so that it doesn't stand out in a crowd. But in the mating season, it changes colour to the one colour that everyone in the city finds attractive. Yes, that's how it gets its name. What is its name? Joe Gold! <laughs> <laughs> to Spider's comic and video shop. Hey, this is all about us. It's all about Spider's play. Here's me. There's a comic, a video, and an audio cassette for each of our adventures. And we buy them from you? Sure. Or right to Handspring Trust at 1 Magnet Street, Kensington, Johannesburg, 2094. Hmm? Mm -hmm. 